Hello, fellow diggers. Well, I got out uh, about a week and uh, I guess it's about a week and four or five days ago from Tallahassee, from Florida. Uh, I got to stay in my my home one night, and the next day I was back in the hospital with a blood sugar of thirty. Uh, my wife, Kathy, gets on my nerves, something fierce sometimes, but that woman has got a talent for waking up at just the right time to get me where I need to be. So, uh, she got me back in the hospital, and now I'm out. My kidney function is back close to normal. Uh, my respiration is good. My blood pressure is good. They've got me on a very reduced dose of methadone and a very reduced dose of gabapentin, which uh, I don't know any of you out there that that have any chronic pains. People that don't suffer through chronic pains, like chronic back pain or or bad pain like that, they don't know. They they, they really don't know. And the doctors are trying their best to get me. They think they want to get me off methadone. I'd almost rather go to sleep and not wake up than to go through that pain again with nothing for the pain. And methadone is the only thing that helps. Look at this face. When have y'all ever seen me look this thin? This whole week that I was in the hospital this last time, I had a good appetite, but they wouldn't bring me anything uh, to sate that appetite on. The stuff they kept bringing me was awful. I ate my fruit, and I ate my raisin bran in the mornings, and that was it. But uh, I heard Bill and Bob say that hopefully one day soon I would be on here telling you all personally how much I appreciate all the, the comments and, and the well wishes and the prayers, and that's just what I'm here for. I want to let all of you know just what that meant to me. Uh, Bill and Bob and Nita have, have been there for me through this whole thing, and and I've been trying to keep up with the comments and uh, from uh, John and Jackie and and John three one six and and of course Tempest Huget, my buddy over there, Mark. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with everybody, Penguin Chick. Uh, Kathy's still waiting for y'all to call. Uh, I know she told Bill and Bob that y'all could have the number. Uh, and 49 are digging. I don't know if Kathy recognized you, but I do. So uh, I just want to let all of you know, and that ambulance was not coming from me, by the way. I just want to let all of you know just how much all your comments and all your well wishes have meant to me and to my family. That really helped to prop them up a, a, a great deal while I was in the hospital. And now that I'm out, Anita told me the other day I sound more like myself than I have in, in, in a long, long, long time. And... Uh, I also heard somebody say, uh, I think it was Bob, that said that I, I'm not afraid to, to voice my opinion and, and, and tell people what I think. Oh, my God, don't we know that? Y'all would have laughed your ass off at me down in Tallahassee because I, 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 was, I was going to war with the people on the floor down there in Tallahassee. They thought they were going to keep me captive. And I had one young punk up there that that thought he was going to try to take my cane away from me. I, I about knocked him out the out the window. I told him, I said, you know, I may not be Babe Ruth, but I put a few balls out in the outfield, so you might want to step back before you start trying to grab my cane. And uh, then he's going to show how bad he was and pull his pocket knife out and cut the ribbon off my, my cane that uh, went to a get well ribbon uh, and a... Uh, balloon that one of the nurses had given me. 
I almost wish that I had called the police and gone ahead and, and brought charges up against him for pulling the knife on me, but I didn't. I guess I'm getting soft in my old age. <laughs> Not. <laughs> anyway, guys, once again, thank you so much. All those comments and well wishes meant so much to my family, to my mother, to my, to my wife, Kathy, uh, to my son, Jerry. Um, everybody's been been checking in on me, and Bill and Bob have been making a new video every time that they had something new to say, and and putting comments up and letting me see what what exactly is going on and uh it helps to have people out there that you know are pulling for you and uh this community has always been just right there for for all for everybody Forrest, you remember when you got sick all the prayers that you got uh we we got to stand together. Ain't nobody else going to do it for us. So, guys, once again, from the one and only Penny Digger, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. This is your one and only Penny Digger. Out of the hospital, kicking again. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye now.